Tim Bergen explained the four necessary questions that need to be answered by evolutionary research in his 1963 paper on aims and methods of ethology. Ethology is the study of animal behaviour. The purpose of each question is to provide a framework to guide your hypothesis and study design and to add clarity about the researcher's perspective. When researching evolution, Tim Bergen recognised there will always be different reasons for the occurrence of a behaviour depending on the context. And so the four evolutionary questions are about either phylogeny, ontogeny, causation and survival value. But what does this mean? We we'll use the example of how primates vocalise to get attention from caregivers. Phylogeny is the genetic history of the species and if they share a behaviour with other species on the evolutionary tree. So all primates are shown to vocalise to attract a care caregiver to provide them with food and this suggests that vocalising evolved in a species that is a shared ancestor of all primates. Ontogeny is the development of the individual organism, so a baby might learn that crying means they get fed. This is the interplay of genes and environment or nature versus nurture. Often with behaviour, we find there is a relationship between the two because simply having the gene for a behaviour doesn't mean that an organism will always exhibit it, depending on their environmental context. Causation is about the morphological or physiological causes that encourage the behaviour, such as what is the mechanism that is enabling the behaviour. This is probably the most basic question to be answered because it looks at what a behaviour is in direct response to. In our example, a baby is hungry and uncomfortable, yet currently has no way of expressing this verbally, and so the baby's physiology enables them to cry. Survival value is what people are probably more familiar with when they think of evolution, which is related to the survival of the fittest. In terms of behaviour, does it confer any survivability for the baby to be able to cry? And if the answer is yes, then it means that the behaviour is more likely to be carried forward to subsequent generations of that species. In our example, when a baby cries, it alerts the mother to its needs or distress, meaning the baby will be attended to and thus increases chances of surviving to a reproductive age. The four questions remind researchers that we must always be aware of what we are trying to achieve with a piece of research and to be explicit about it. This is because some research methods are more appropriate for certain types of questions and for exploring a topic within a given paradigm. And also, some questions simply cannot be concluded from certain types of questions. Um, so, thank you for listening, and if you have anything to comment or questions to ask me, just comment below.